In November 1991, shortly after the attempted coup in the USSR, Caesar Civetta began a marathon five-month guest conducting tour behind what had been the Iron Curtain. Even as the Soviet Union was being dismantled, audiences packed concert halls in 12 cities to hear the American conductor. This production of Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake was performed in Siberia, in the Republic of Buryat, some 3,000 miles from Moscow. Also in Buryat, Chivetta conducted a symphony concert, and performances of Aida, La Traviata, and Otello, all sung in Russian. All five programs in Buryat were rehearsed and performed in a grueling 10-day period. Niente! Ta 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 ta! Niente! Get the lights on for the chorus! Ta 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 ta! Chivetta worked with 10 different orchestras on this tour. One of the ways he overcame the language barrier was by singing during the rehearsals. In many of these cities, Cesar Chavetta was the first American performer ever to appear. He actively sought out opportunities for cultural exchange, and throughout the tour, music students from local conservatories were invited to attend rehearsals.
city he visited, Chavetta performed a special encore, The Stars and Stripes Forever. In the city of Yaroslavl, the concert hall was actually inside the Communist Party headquarters. A large stone bust of Lenin had been mysteriously turned around to face the wall. Chavetta told the audience that the music they were about to hear was a symbol of freedom, and he was proud to share it with them at such an historic time. By the conclusion of this five-month tour, the Soviet Union had completely transformed itself. Mikhail Gorbachev had stepped down. Boris Yeltsin had outlawed the Communist Party. And on December 21st, the same day that Russians in Yaroslavl were applauding the first performance of the Stars and Stripes at the Communist Party headquarters, 11 republics formally established the Commonwealth of Independent States, marking the end of the Soviet Union. Thank you. 